This is Old Fisherman's Wharf in Monterey, California, and it's a cold, beautiful morning in November. The water is calm, and sounds of seagulls and barking sea lions echo through the air. I spent some time walking to various parts of the wharf, peeking over the edge, and hoping to find some sea otters. I was happy to see this sea otter mom and her older pup swimming by. I stood there, just hoping they would come closer, and they did. Looks like they're sharing a sea urchin for breakfast. Young sea otter pups have fur that is so dense they can't dive underwater. This baby fur keeps the pup safely floating at the surface while its mother looks for food down below. At eight to 10 weeks, their adult fur begins to come in, which allows them to start diving down. And this is when they can start learning to forage for food. And this older pup is already diving down and keeping up with its mom. Pups will nurse and remain with their mother until they're about six to eight months old. After diving down beneath the wharf and disappearing for quite some time, this mom finally brought up a crab. And a feasting sea otter usually means there are seagulls close by, ready to grab any leftover scraps. Shortly after these two drifted out of sight, I saw another mom and pup heading my way. and this pup seemed to be younger and more buoyant. And as you can see, the pup needs constant attention. Since the father has no part in raising their young, the mother does it all on her own. The mom works hard to feed, groom, and protect her pup. And throughout this process, moms and pups form a strong bond. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more, check out this next video to watch a sea otter dive under waves and crack open clams to eat.